Hello! Oh. Hey, hey, hey. And, and welcome to a double review. Yes. Today we've got two beers. We have the Purple Stout, uh, which is 9%. Purple Stout, which is 9%, which is uh, uh, an Imperial Stout. And we've got. What percent is it? 9%. Uh, this one we've got the Cottage oh, Brewery sorry. and it's uh, Somerset Garcia Ale. Uh, yeah. And that is coming at 4.4%. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop this bad boy open and we're going to see what this beer is like. Woo! So, it's a nice bit of smokiness. That's probably the, the only bottle I have that has my beer, but that's probably because it's fridged. I was going to film, but it's too dark. So, on the pour, look at that, folks. Well, it's kind of thin. Yeah. You know, they say Imperial Stout. Mm. Okay, definitely some dark roasting. A little bit of, uh, Look at that. It's about a three finger head. Awesome. One of Stuart's heads. Uh, two of Andrews. Nice oh. black too. Yeah, but just at the bottom, which is really good. It's like a, like a cola kind of color, but a cherry in it. Lots of piddles. Piddle. It's like, like a Dorset Piddle. Yeah. Oh, Piddle Breweries? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really flattened. Somerset Dorset Ale. Piddle's not flattened, it won't be a... <laughs> So, on the nose, <laughs> on this one you've got uh, deep roasted mugs. You've also got a bit of uh, burnt uh, batch bread, which is an Ireland. We've got the same called batch bread. Uh, and the crust of when it burns mm. leaves that kind of deep roastiness. And did you want to try that? Flat. There's a lovely taste in this water. There's a lovely creaminess to it. You do get that ro it just that like smell. It's like taste like flooded water. What's that uh, energy drink from the right Malt? Malt? Yeah, super malt. Yeah, super malt. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. It's a little bit less, sugar. less sugary. That's what it is. Just not there. Just tastes like flooded water. Andrew's gone mad. Um, Technology yeah. gone out the window. A bit of uh, dishwater, I think. To be honest, not too good. The problem is, because uh, it's, 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 it's at. Is it Russian Imperial? Oh, it's, it's 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 this is, yeah, it's Belgian uh, Imperial style. Um, it's a cool story for Hercules as well, because that. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, the only thing is, for me, it's not an Imperial style. Yeah. Um, no, I, oh, that's what I'm going to tell It's very, very. Um, it's very weak, yeah. um, at the same time it's very thin, but it does have a nice roast of malt to it. Yeah, but it's not tasting like an Amsterdam. It's tasting like a 4% stout. Yeah. If it was me, I wouldn't put this in the fridge. No. It's a beer, a serving drink. Uh, and I think because they put it in the fridge, it's lost a lot of its flavour. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, and especially even when you pop it open, mm. the proper pop comes off it. You don't have to drink it plenty of times. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a beer I would usually maybe finish the night on when I'm in here. Yeah. It's, it's finished, it's won a brown uh, 2012 reward, so. I'm getting, I'm getting so that. that's bronze. Yeah, yeah, bronze, yeah. It's bronze down there. <laughs> Um, I'm getting a nice honey t uh, smell to this uh, dossier. Brin, Brin, as I say, Brin, Brin. It's nice. It's all right, but because it's chilled, it's, you're not tasting the full flavour yeah. of the stout. Would I buy it again? I would buy it again, but I would keep it at room temperature. Um, mm. What I think it would be really nice with is a bit of uh, smoked cheddar. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have one of them tomorrow. Mm. Well, uh, as far as these two, two uh, this, we have a uh, bottle selection here at the beer house. Uh, not, not as vast as um, Nan's Head or no. such like but they do have a good Special, selection of yeah. cask ales. And good selection of cask ales, they've got the good ciders and they've got a few, few craft cakes. Yeah, they've got two um, and cakes. And what I like about this place is not because uh, they serve cask ale, it's, it's that feel um, dope. Fall into seeing all always have a fosters, always have a cow on that. There's no fosters, there's no commercial. And, and, and that's the thing about this pub. This pub is uh, ale drinkers, um, and you know, they've literally, they've only just really put in the cake cakes just after Christmas, so you know, again, very, very solid. And also, that they play Irish music. Yeah! Because Kevin Black's in the bar. For sure, for sure. Please. 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 No. Anyway, <laughs> folks, that's really the Britain, and. Seems really ultra. Mr. Andrew Pickford. Cheers! Cheers. 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 Cheers.